Hey YouTube, out here in the greenhouse today. I want to do an update on the aquaponics just because it's been a little while. Um, what I have going on here, the uh, Chinese red noodle beans, I don't think the, they're going to do so much more from here. They're pretty much done. I'm just going to kind of let them play out a little bit longer, but I can't be hard on them because I planted them late. Um, I let them get root bound and it was very rough putting them in here. So that's that. But when it comes to these tomato plants, the tomato plants are doing pretty well. Um, there is a few things that I have realized when it comes to doing tomatoes in the system like this. And the biggest downfall that I have found with this, I thought this was going to be the, the greatest thing since sliced bread. And I'm not saying that it's, it's not a good idea, it's not a good way to do it. Uh, but the downfall of doing this is I got this plant here on the corner and this one is basically dying off. I don't think this plant's gonna be around for much more than a week or so and I'll probably pull it. But it's got a few tomatoes on it. I wanna see if they'll ripen. But the thing about it is when stuff starts dying off and falling, I am so, e it's so easy for it to get into the water. I pulled the tomato the other day and I dropped it and it went right into the water. So that's the one thing we don't want is I don't want debris getting into the water. If this was all gravel, it wouldn't be an issue. I could just clean up the top of the gravel, but that is the downfall with doing the um, deep water culture tomatoes the way that I'm doing it. So it's a learning process, but this plant is pretty much toast. I'm just gonna give it a couple more days. Hopefully the few tomatoes that are on it will ripen. And the other tomato plants that are in here are doing really well. This is a, a black strawberry and this has got all kinds of green tomatoes on it. And I've got a couple of ripe ones over here. It's doing really well. I'm really pleased with how this one's doing. And just a reminder, all these tomato plants in here were cuttings that I threw in here and sprouted roots on their own. And uh, I, had, I had a suggestion last time I did a video on this and I was measuring my, I was measuring my nitrogen level. And what I've got here is this here is a measurement of my nitrates. Translation, it's a measurement of my nitrogen in the aquaponic system. And it's kind of, it's really hard to tell where this is at. But nine times out of ten, my nitrogen has always been like 160 or above. This is far more in the orange than it is in the red. So I would imagine it's like, I, I have a hard time saying that it's at 40 parts per million. It's probably somewhere in the um, 20 to 10, it's above 10, but probably 20 to 30-ish range. Now. What that translates to is, do I, have enough, do I have a balance, is essentially what I'm getting at here. And so far, right now, I'm happy with this balance. Um, I've had 100 heads of lettuce in here before, and I've had the nitrogen level all the way up to like 160 or plus. So, um, I'm feeding the fish, I feel like, heavier right now than I typically do. And these like, what do I got, six, five, six tomato plants? are basically taking up as much energy out of the system um, as like a hundred plus lettuce plants. So I'm happy with how that's going. Um, and another thing that was suggested to me was that I try doing um, an EC reading on my, uh, on my nitrates. And that's basically taking a hydroponic measurement of your salts and I don't know that the two really you know you can really compare and contrast the two but it, it just adds another point of reference so anyway I did that and my EC is reading 210 my parts per million is reading like 99 so um, for a hydroponic solution that's like a super super light solution um, if we were to equate that apples to apples I mean, it's basically there's nothing in the system, but I know there's a lot in the system because it's producing what it's producing. So it's hard to really compare those two, but I'm going to start trying to wrap my head around the two when it comes to the aquaponics, so taking the nitrate level and the EC level just to kind of like correlate the two. So I'm kind of just wrapping my head around that whole idea. But anyway, guys, this is what the aquaponic system is doing. I'm happy with it. I'm going to probably pull this plant here real soon, but otherwise, the tomatoes are doing great. Um, I got a, a nice big one right here. It's really green. 
And one other thing I'm gonna do is today, I'm gonna pull this ground cherry. The ground cherries produced a lot of ground cherries from this, but it's, it, it was in here in 120 something degree weather or more, and there's so much of this that's just, just burnt to a crisp. So I'm gonna call it done on that. Anyway guys, thanks for joining me. That's what I got for today, and I will see ya.